I'm here in the top secret pirate headquarters. <laughs> and I came back from Paris. And Rome. Having seen lots of art. Because my wife's an artist, I'm an artist. We see a lot of art. It helps ground... It, it both, at the same time, grounds you and lifts you up to see the possibilities because the possibilities within art always are deliberately about opening up more space. Now, there's something else to it. I'm not talking about the value of art. This is what I saw. We saw a Picasso retrospective, and there are many, but this one is a comprehensive one. It was at the Pompidou Center, uh, Centre Georges Pompidou in uh, Paris. Big space, giant museum. And there was a massive retrospective of Picasso. And this guy, you can like him or not, his artwork is extraordinary, but maybe you don't like it, I don't know. His lifestyle and the way he treated people, especially women and girlfriends and wives, um, highly questionable and sketchy, but separating the man from the work that the man created, we can take a look at it and see many things very clearly. Now, the one in this particular case is a series of films that were shot of him creating work. And he created work in many ways very, very quickly. One of the things that he did was to do sketches that were, well, with paint, you know, live sketches with a paintbrush that were captured on film. And he thought about a line and then he made a line and he thought about another line and he made a line and he didn't think very long. In fact, his ability to do this stuff quickly, that was it. Now here is the second part. At one point, there's a famous story, and he was at a restaurant, I don't know, maybe it was in Spain somewhere, and he was at a restaurant, and he was just making a uh, sketch on a napkin. And, uh, or maybe it was that a waitress recognized him and said, can you draw something for me very quickly on a napkin? And he, he whipped out a napkin and a, you know, pencil, and he made a beautiful piece of work. And she said, wow, that's fantastic. Could I have that? And he said, sure. She said, I'll pay you. He said it costs this much, and he quoted something very, very expensive. I don't know, $15,000, whatever it is, 10000 bucks. Back in the 1930s, he quoted a giant sum of money to this waitress. And the waitress said, it took you 15, it took you five minutes. To which he replied, it took me 40 years to learn how to make this in five minutes. Now, why do I tell you this? Because his ability to be clear about what he wanted to do next was based on being able to see what was before him and then make quick, clear decisions. Deliberateness. The art of deliberation is to figure things out, examining and then make a choice. To deliberate is to sort through and then choose. To be deliberate is to be intentional. So I tell you this now. You getting clear on what you want to do 
will be a reflection of your teaching that others see. And your ability to get clear makes deliberate choices quick, concise, and strong for other people so that they can recognize the coaching and your authority and your attentiveness to your own method. And I'm not saying that that always needs to be very quick. Sometimes you need to understand that the decision must be made after taking a pause and pondering things. But that choice to go in that direction also is a deliberate, quick, and clear choice. So what you have before you is to hone your craft so that you can, not unlike Picasso, understand that when you are offering something quickly, this is not because you are just taking a short amount of time and it is of small value because it only took you five minutes. No, you have logged a substantial amount of time on the back end of your investigations so that you can then show people something quickly and if they were to say, but it only took you a few minutes, you know, and you don't have to always tell them this, but if you needed to, you could explain to someone, it took me a long time to be able to create this suggestion in a short time. That is what you have before you. I want you to take this, I want you to use this, and I want you to actually pay attention. Now, on the back end of this, can you learn how to do this on your own? Maybe. Will it take you a long time to figure out whether or not you actually have located the right stuff quickly and conveniently and concisely and clearly on your own? Yes, it will take you a long time. Can you expedite that? by having someone on the outside make sure that you have asked all the right questions and touched earth on these ideas so that you can actually bring it big, knowing that you have done what was necessary? Yeah. That's where people like me come in. So, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you think about what I just said here. Go get them. Speak soon. If you want to take all the time in the world to get to that point where you know your stuff, that's on you. You want to actually expedite this shit and move it forward quickly? That requires an outside eye that understands how to teach you how to parse your own information quicker and more effectively than you can do on your own. Okay, that's it and that's all. Go get them. Yar.